um, the civilians who are left um, in these areas under bombardments, many of them are older people and the uh, Ukraine is one of the country that has one of the highest percentage of older people in the world, almost a quarter of the population. And most of these older people who are uh, stuck in areas under bombardment are women, elderly women who have lost, not only they are in a situation of increased danger because of the bombardments, but they, many of them um, have um, some level of disability and they have lost the support network that they had before the war uh, as the uh, younger members of the populations, members of their families, their neighbors have left. So um, the war is having a, a obviously a, a very big impact on civilians in general, um, particularly um, uh, on older people, uh, the majority of whom are women. In, in, in the last many years, I've been investigating uh, um, war crimes and crimes against humanity in many conflicts where uh, women and girls have been particularly targeted for sexual violence on a massive scale and including conflicts that have been completely neglected and forgotten at the international level, nowhere more so than the conflict in the Tigray region of Ethiopia. Sexual violence has been particularly widespread in this conflict and has been deliberately used by the combatants as a weapon of war to terrorize and to humiliate the entire community. I have investigated sexual violence in many conflicts and wars over the years. And the, ex the gravity and the scale of the sexual violence that I have seen in the Tigray conflict, the gratuitous brutality and the absolute absence of any medical and humanitarian and psychological assistance for the survivors of these uh, mass rapes um, has been amongst the worst that I've ever seen in my professional life in more than 20 years.